Andrew tells Bria that the ER staff suspects them of child abuse. They think I, we, hurt Kenley. The police want to talk to us. I didn't even compute it. I'm going to stay here with Kenley. So I told him, go home, get some rest. One of us should at least sleep. Both parents have been told to report to the police station in the morning for separate interviews. I thought, of course, that's part of, of the due diligence. But I knew that nobody's been doing this. The next morning, Bria goes directly from the hospital to her interview at the police station. Andrew is still being interviewed when she arrives. He had probably been in his police interview for about four hours. Wow, it took forever. What happened? They're not going to let us back into the hospital. They don't want us to see Kenley. What? Why? I just completely lost it. I had to, absolutely had to get back into that hospital, no matter what. They're asking me all about Kenley's schedules and appointments and outings, and you know I don't know that stuff. And they were tearing everything I said apart. Our family was, you know, under attack at that point. We're ready for you now, Bria. It escalated so fast and in such a whirlwind, simple diaper change can turn into something so nightmarish as this. Bria is escorted by detectives into the interrogation room. The detectives started asking me about doctor's appointments and trips that we had taken. And then the questions were more about Andrew. So how often do you leave Andrew alone with your daughter? I'm thinking, why are they asking me all of these questions about my husband? What do they know that I don't know? I'm sorry, but what are you getting at exactly? I hate to be the one to tell you this, but your husband's not who you think he is. They told me I was married to a monster and that he showed his true colors in his police interview. All his answers are different than yours. They didn't like his demeanor and his time frames didn't match up with my time frames. The police offer up what they suspect was Andrew's motive. They believe that he was so in love with me that when I had Kenley, she took my attention away from him and out of jealousy, he systematically abused her. Look, <clears throat> we're 100% sure on this. To me, these are experts. So to me, what they're telling me is the truth. I love my husband, but I'm not blinded by my love.